dear student good morning and namaste welcome to this educational educational program of joint school family rupandai it is a virtual class developed by joint school family and it is specially designed for the student of class 9 and 10 i am your english teacher and i am going to teach you english in this class it is the uh, continuation of the previous topic that is active and passive boys we are reading active and passive boys let's have a recap of what uh, what we have learned in our in our uh, previous uh, video we have learned the basic steps or basic uh, rules basic rules of changing active boys into into passive boys while convert, uh, converting active boys into passive boys first you have to find out find out the uh, active structure that is you have to find out the subject verb object you have to find out subject verb object in the in the sentence okay? and after that you have to convert um, object into subject and subject into object while converting active boys into passive boys you have to convert the object into subject and subject into into object use suitable use suitable helping verb with subject it means you have to use a okay, suitable helping verb suitable be verb plus past participle form of the verb in the place of main verb the be verb are is am are was were be been being these are the these are the helping verb you have to um, use according to the tense of the uh, active voice in passive voice always use um, third form of the verb that is past participle form of the verb in the uh, in the passive voice and use preposition we use preposition by while changing it okay? while changing from active voice to passive voice okay? in active voice subject perform the action in active voice okay? voice subject perform the action and object receive the action for example Anna painted the house. In this sentence, Anna is subject, painted verb, and the house is object. Here, the subject perform the action. In passive, passive voice, action is performed on the object by the subject. Action is performed on the object by the by the subject the passive structure is object object of the active voice plus helping verb that is be verb plus p3 okay past participle form of the verb and then by we use the preposition by and subject subject of the active voice example the house was painted by an the house was painted by an act generally active voice having a transitive verb can only be transformed uh, transformed or uh, convert, uh, converted uh, to passive voice transitive, transitive verbs can have both active and passive form in transitive verb used without an object intransitive verb 
can be expressed in active form only. It can't be expressed in passive form. Other things we have discussed in our previous, uh, previous class are the structure of active tenses and their passive equivalent. We have dis discussed the um, active structures and passive structure of present tense and past tense. <laughs> Today we are going to discuss the structure, structure of future uh, future tenses. Let's have a recap of present structure of uh, present tense and the past tense. The structure of simple present tense in active voice is subject plus V1 or V5 plus object. We use V1 with plural subject and we use V1 with singular subject. Singular subject agree with singular verb and plural subject is agree with plural verbs. And the passive structure is object plus ISMR plus V3 plus by plus subject. And the present continuous structure of present continuous is subject plus isMR plus V4 plus object and passive structure is object plus isMR plus being plus V3 plus by plus subject. Same auxiliary verb. Same auxiliary verb of the uh, active uh, voice is used here and we have to add being. Right? Being after being um, verb in uh, past participle form, main verb in past participle form. Uh, present perfect in subject plus have as plus v3 plus object and the passive structure is object plus has have plus been plus v3 plus by plus subject. And the present uh, perfect continuous tense subject plus has a plus b plus b4 plus object and there is no passive form of uh, present perfect continuous tense now simple past subject plus b2 plus object and passive structure of simple present tense is object plus was where plus b3 plus by plus subject and the past continuous tense structure of past continuous tense in active active voice is subject plus was where plus b4 plus object. And passive structure is object plus was where plus being plus v3 plus by plus subject. And uh, past perfect tense. Subject plus had plus v3 plus object. And the passive structure is object had plus being plus v3 plus by plus subject. And past perfect continuous tense subject plus had plus being plus v4 plus object. And passive, there is no passive uh, structure of present perfect continuous tense. Now let's uh, let's discuss uh, discuss the uh, active structure and passive structure of future tenses. First, simple present tense. The simple uh, simple future tense. Not we are discussing future tense, not uh, present tense. First. Uh, simple future, simple future tense. The structure of simple future tense is subject plus shall or will plus v1 plus object. And the structure, structure, this is the structure. Now example of simple future tense, Avik will write a letter. Avik is subject and we have used will with Avik and v1, right v1, a letter is object. With i and v, we use shall. In other cases, we use will. Now, passive structure of simple future tense is object, shall, will, same, same helping verb, same v verb, will, same, the same uh, auxiliary verb will use in 
in passive also and we use uh, we add b and after b main verb is in past participle form plus by plus subject and the example is a letter will be written by abhik now future continuous tense structure of future continuous tense the structure is subject plus shall will plus be plus v4 plus object example is abhi will be writing a letter this is the example of future continuous tense and and there is no passive there is no passive form of future continuous tense we can convert future continuous tense into passive form the next is future perfect tense future perfect tense structure of future perfect tense is subject plus shall will plus have plus b3 plus object in the example is abhik will have written a letter and the passive structure is object object of the active voice plus shall will plus have plus been which perfect tense okay we use been plus b3 plus past participle form of the verb plus by plus subject subject of the active voice example is a letter will have been written by abhik and the last tense is future perfect continuous tense the structure active structure of future perfect continuous tense is uh, subject plus shall will plus have plus been plus b4 plus object and the example is abhik will have been writing a letter is the example of future perfect continuous tense and we can express we can convert um, future perfect continuous tense in passive form or there is no passive form of of the future perfect continuous tense okay? in this way the four uh, four tenses okay, four tenses can be converted into uh, passive okay, into passive the four tenses are present perfect tense present perfect tense like another is uh, another uh, present perfect tense another uh, another is basic uh, not present uh, sorry uh, uh, present perfect continuous tense this present perfect continuous tense like past perfect continuous tense future continuous tense and future perfect continuous tense the tenses can be converted into a passive form another important things you have to know while converting active voice into a passive voice that is the that is the pronoun that pronoun if there is i in the subject of the active voice you have to change i into me for example i writes a letter i writes a letter and the i change into me in in uh, subject uh, in uh, passive in passive voice for example a letter is written by me we don't write a letter is written by i i change into um, i change into me and you you write a letter there is no change of you okay? a letter is written uh, a letter is written by you okay? there is no change of you okay? and she changes into her she changes into her for example she writes a letter a letter is written by her she changes into her they changes into them okay? they write a letter a letter is written by them they changes into them okay? we change into us we write a letter a letter is written written by us okay he changes into him he changes into him it remain the same okay? in this way we uh, change <coughs> we change the uh, pronoun okay? while uh, converting active voice into into passive passive voice okay? This was for today.
other things other things we'll discuss in our next video thank you for watching the video